hayawi hayawi huwa finally professor kuture kindiki was sworn in as kenya's new deputy president rigadi gashago now goes home an impeached deputy president a person who cannot contest or hold any public office for the next 10 or so years so rigadi goes home a defeated deputy president an impeached deputy president in this video right now i want us to have a look at the two oaths kindike saw this morning because in 2022 rigadi also saw the same oath but the national assembly and the senate impeached him because the two houses of parliament believed rigadi breached the oaths I want us to have a look at the odds. Also in this video, I want us to have a look on how Nyeri and Taraka Nithi responded to Kindiki swearing in. Rigadi comes from Nyeri, Kindiki comes from Taraka Nithi. I want us to have a look at the responses there because that can give us an insight as to what to expect heading towards 2027 and more so politics on the mountain and it's also worth noting that the presence of Martha Komen the chief justice also sealed regarding Gashagwa's fate is now done and dusted regarding this legal team should now behave they should not continue giving him false hope is now done and dusted and even the courts cannot overturn what happened today morning kithore kindiki is now the new deputy president let's listen to the first oath of office mr deputy president designate i shall commence i shall commence with the administration of the first oath which is the oath of allegiance of the deputy president kindly repeat after me i i kithure kindiki in full realization of the high calling in full realization of the high calling i assume as deputy president of the republic of kenya I assume as deputy president of the Republic of Kenya Do swear Do swear that I will be faithful and I will be faithful and bear true allegiance to the Republic of Kenya and bear true allegiance to the Republic of Kenya that I will obey that I will obey preserve preserve protect protect and defend this constitution of Kenya and defend this constitution of Kenya as by law established as by law established and all other laws of the republic and all other laws of the republic and that I will protect and that I will protect and uphold and the, uphold the sovereignty the sovereignty integrity integrity and dignity of the people of Kenya and dignity of the people of Kenya so help me god so help me god that was kindiki's first oath and he swearing his allegiance to the republic and to the people of Kenya not to a section of the Kenyan population or to a tribe but to the republic and to the people of Kenya let's listen to the second oath mr deputy president designate i shall now administer the oath of due execution of office for the deputy president kindly repeat after me i I Kithure Kindiki 
do swear do swear that i will always truly that i will always truly and diligently and diligently serve the people of kenya serve the people of kenya and the republic of kenya and the republic of kenya in the office of the deputy president in the office of the deputy president of the republic of kenya of the republic of kenya that i will diligently that i will diligently discharge my duties discharge my duties and perform my functions and perform my functions in the said office in the said office to the best of my judgment to the best of my judgment that i will at all times that i will at all times when so required when so required faithfully and truly give my counsel faithfully and truly give my counsel and advice and advice to the president of the republic of kenya to the president of the republic of kenya that i will do justice that i will do justice to all without fear to all without fear favor favor affection affection or ill will or ill will and that i will not directly and that i will not directly or indirectly or indirectly reveal such matters reveal such matters as shall come to my knowledge as shall come to my knowledge in the discharge of my duties in the discharge of my duties and committed to my secrecy and committed to my secrecy so help me god so help me god Listening to those two oaths, Kindiki is swearing his allegiance to the Republic and to the people of Kenya. And he goes ahead to say he will serve all Kenyans without fear or favor. He will not discriminate that now this is the mountain this is the lake. This one's voted for us. This one's never voted for us. That's the same oath regarding Swarm in 2022. If you look on how Rigathi Gashagwa discharged these duties as the deputy president, it's very clear from that oath Rigathi broke or breached that oath. That's coming out very, very clearly. Before we continue, I want us to listen on how Nyeri and Tarakanidhi responded to Kithure Kindiki's swearing in. But before we listen to that, if you are watching us but you have not yet subscribed, subscribe, give the video a like. Listen to this. Eh kwa majina mimi naitwa Patrick Noti Mukazi wa Tharakanidhi. Eh mimi tuko na furaha sana tukua watu wa Tharakanidhi sababu ya serikali kuu yetu kiongozwa na rais wetu William Ruto kumchagua Abraham Kithure Kendete kuwa naibu wake. Sababu Kithure Kendeke ni mchapakazi abagui. Na sisi tukua wakazi huku tuko na furaha tele sababu ya hayo maneno imetendekea sisi kama jamii ya ya Tharakanidhi. Tuko na furaha mingi hata sui tuseme nini. Sababu tume, tuna, leo tumeona ya kwamba amesaa fishwa kile tunaongojea ni endele kufanyia wananchi kazi wananchi wa Kenya. Kwako na kuona pia ja. Asante sana mi na fulai sana na hitu wa Karen kituka chuka ikamba ngombe. Leo tumefulai sana mkaaju wa dharaka nili kaunte tumefulai sana kwa sababu mtoto wetu wa mtoka hapa dharaka amechaguliwa kuwa naibu raisi kumefulai sana kama akina mama tunanjua sasa mamba yetu takuta ya nasikiriso kwa sababu kendeke siyo mtu wa kabila na tunashu kuru sana mjumbe wa dharaka kitonga mulugara hame bigana sana mbaka kendeke ya kabata na vasu mshukuru muna tushangilia asante sana sisi wakaji wa nyeri hatu ujafurahia lakini hakuna kitu tunayesafanya imesa atedeka imetedeka lakini hapa watu wa nyeri hatu ujafurahia hata kidogo mina ito mbao taxi driver nyeri siku furahia hiyo mambo lakini nimekubali lakini hatu tasahau hiko na vidoda kwenye lohosetu tutagojea 
lakini tutafanya kazi na serikali hatusemi ati tuko nje ya serikali kwa maana tumefurutwa nje hapana sisi tutaendelea tu na tutamuunga mkono kitu 50% eh mimi nimefuatilia bwana Kamau na kama saa hii nimeona usiniona hao wazetu zimeinama lakini siku sema hatujakubaliana na wao juu hiyo kitu chatedeka sasa tunamngoba rais na naibu wake sasa watufanyie kazi ile kazi waliwambia ile kazi wametuambia tutufanyia ile kazi ilianzia huku nyeli ya bai jafanywa tunataka sawa tumalizie lakini hatujasemi hatu hatu ate kiongozi wetu, wetu sio rigadhi kiongozi wetu hapa Mount Kenya region tunasema ni rigadhi kashagua ikifika hiyo mwaka tutachagua sisi tutajua venye tutafanya lakini saa hii tunafuata serikali tuko ndani ya serikali hatutoki hapo na, na umeweza kusikia rais akisema kwamba Abra, uh, profesa Abraham Kithure Kindiki ambaye ni naibu rais wa sasa atakuwa analeta ule ujuzi ambao eh, rais amekuwa kikosa kwa miaka miwili ambayo imepita je una una maoni gani kuhusu sehemu hizi za rais mimi rais nimeona kama yeye mwenyewe hata wakati alichagua ndegadhe kashagua venye ameongea leo ni kama wako pamoja alimchagua juu ya pesa juu ya mobilization ya watu juu ameonekana kusema miaka miwili iliyopita hakuna kitu amefanya lakini sasa hii atafanya so tunaona from the word go kwa kianzia pale hawakuwa pamoja lakini walijivisha majina yangu naitwa Samuel Delito na ningetaka kusema siasa ni kujipanga eh, kidiki tunasema ako sawa kwa sababu ameshaguliwa kutoka Mount Kenya region na kila mtu anaweza fanya kazi kwa hivyo hatuoni shida yoyote ile na president tunajua yeye mwenyewe dia alikuwa anamejua kwa nini ameamua hivyo sababu ni lazima wali, 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 wali sema watafanya kazi na ni lazima atafute mtu mwenye anaweza fanya kazi na yeye labda ukiwa na mtu mwenye amekuwa kizuizi kwa barabara yako hata wewe una, kama kisiaza unaona unaweza muondoa kwa hivyo legadhi aende apumzike agoje kazi ifanywe na tunajua kidiki na president watafanya kazi Nam. Those are Nyeri and Taraka need the residents. Listening to Nyeri residents, they are not happy. Though I'm also seeing some aspects of division in Nyeri itself. There are those supporting Kithuri Kindiki. But now listening to Taraka Nidhi, it's as if they are all in celebration. They are all in agreement that Kithuri Kindiki deserves that post as the deputy president. Taraka Nidhi and Nyeri, that's the mountain. In 2022, they were speaking the same language. But heading towards 2027, it appears they might not speak the same language. I want to explain why I strongly believe William Ruto has succeeded in killing the mountain's dominance. Let's proceed. If you look on how William Ruto has played his politics in terms of service delivery to the people, he comes out as the most incompetent president Kenya has ever had but in terms of political strategies he comes out as the best political strategist Kenya has ever had among all the presidents who have ruled Kenya so Ruto is bad when it comes to service delivery but when it comes to political strategies on how to win votes I don't think any of the presidents who served Kenya none can match Ruto. Upon the mountain voting for William Ruto in 2022, Ruto knew that come the next election, the mountain naturally was going to be reluctant in re-electing him. So Ruto devised a strategy on how to divide the mountain. And before he divided that mountain, he had already seen that Igadi Gashagwa was building himself politically on the mountain. So he had to be stopped before he matured into the mountain's de facto political leader. That's why William Ruto has not waited till 
he has killed Rigathi politically early enough before Rigathi fully matured into the mountain's de facto political leader. Ruto picking Professor Kithure Kindiki, he knew of the shaky relationship between Mount Kenya West and Mount Kenya East. In all these years, Mount Kenya East, that's Meru, Tarakanithi, and Embu, those areas have been supporting Mount Kenya West. And naturally, William Ruto knew that there were some jitters there. That's why he picked Kithure Kindiki. It can be very easy for him to walk away with the Mount Kenya East. And from what we are seeing, he has succeeded. Even if Mount Kenya West will rebel, Mount Kenya East will support Ruto. And should that happen, Ruto has just succeeded in killing the mountain's political dominance. And that's a blessing in disguise to Kenyans. A united mountain's vote has proved to be very detrimental to Kenyans. They normally impose bad leaders on Kenyans. But then with a the divided mountain vote, their vote will not all that be powerful. They can choose a side, but Kenyans can gun against them because they are also divided. So Ruto has succeeded. And the division on the mountain is good for Kenya. Let me stop it there. If you are watching us but you have not yet subscribed, subscribe, give the video a like. Let's meet in our next analysis. Thank you.